and explore this connection. What is the basis of this connection between the two of you? Okay, soul tree. This is powerful. This is the tree of life. You've got the number two and one, which make three, Leo. Now, three is a powerful number because it's symbolic of a journey, of a trine, okay? Birth, life, death, beginning, middle, ending. So I feel like there's a very long-term um, potential for you and this person. Also, because you've got the tree of life pictured here. Um, and your world can change as you know it, but you can also grow so much between the two each the two. Um, uh, with each other but soul tree also talks about soul ties okay um the two of you might have had a past life connection um or a spiritual beings uh the two of you will connect in a very powerful way so i do feel as though there's um spiritually uh some sort of past that you've shared with this person which will definitely um make your bond stronger um but you will also share a very um a connection that can grow and become very very intense uh, fairly quickly as well so maybe you'll need to give that time maybe you'll need to be patient Leo but you might see these things evidenced in the connection um, again you've got these angelic wings next to you here so this is a connection from the divine I do feel as though you're being brought together by the fates the gods the universe the angels your spirit guides there's a higher power that's ensuring that the two of you are connecting in a deeply deeply powerful way here but the tree of life can also indicate um the, the two of you possibly intro, uh, creating life or introducing life somehow into your um, relationship. That is, so that is quite exciting. Um, let's have a look and see your, uh, your strengths, Leo. Strengths in this connection. Okay, Eight of Cups with the Moon card. Um, Eight of Cups is all about soul searching and a need for space. It can be independence and or autonomy. Um, I think this will be one of your strengths is giving each other room to grow or to pursue your own pursuits because the Eight of Cups pursues something that he's deeply passionate about, drawn to, or something he feels is missing in his life. Now, um, for, a lot, for a lot of you, when you come together in a relationship with this person, the fact that the Eight of Cups is here speaks about the two of you will become stronger if you give each other space or you will be able to understand or um, compromise um, if that's what you're wanting or, or if that's what this person is wanting. Um, the moon card is here, which can, it is very much a point of emotion and attachment. The moon card has a very strong pull. The moon card can represent the sign of cancer, which forms deeply emotional bonds. So I don't think, I don't question the bond that's going to be created between the two of you. I think that's actually one of your strengths. But the ability for the two of you to have independence, autonomy or distance Okay, distance might be a good thing for the both of you here or your ability to give each other space um, or be very understanding and compassionate, okay, emotions. To be compassionate about that, Leo, will definitely be one of your strengths in this connection, absolutely. Um, you also have the moon card, which again is divine feminine energy. It's a, it's a very nurturing energy. It's compassionate. It's empathetic. It's also very creative. So A, the two of you, your, the how creative you are in your relationship can lead to adventure, spontaneity, um, excitement, attachments, and surprises. Um, but also how passionate, how empathetic, how sensitive you are towards this person could potentially also be one of your strengths, which could lead to a very successful connection here. The moon card also has animals pictured, which can point to protective or primitive behavior. So A, this could be that the both of you are equally protective over the other, protective over your relationship and want to defend that relationship. You can see these animals here, they're, they're um, howling, they're defensive, they're, they're looking to the moon. So um, I feel like a lot, of, uh, a lot of your characteristics or traits are mirrored here as indicated by the Twin Towers here, which shows, uh, and because the Twin Towers are coming up identical to each other, it shows reciprocity. Um, it shows that e you have an equal relationship here. Um, there's a quality in the relationship. There's equal and mutual understanding, mutual emotions as well, which is really, really positive um, with the Moon card. But definitely your ability to form attachments, to give each other space and be compassionate um, about that will definitely be one of your strengths. Um, whoops, wrong deck. I'm not thinking this afternoon, am I? Um, let's have a look at your areas where you may face challenges potentially, Leo. Not necessarily, but let's have a look and see if this um, can reveal where you'll face challenges. Okay, seven. 
Seven of Wands with the Magician. Magician came up twice for this person. Okay. Um, Seven of Wands can be seen as someone that is backed up into a corner, someone that feels like they need to defend their rights or be defensive. Or this is even anger, okay, and bottled up feelings. It can also can be judgment or the other person feeling attacked. So this is something that you might have to watch out for. One of you could have an anger issue or the both of you might have anger issues here. But the Seven of Wands is argumentative anger. It's something that's purposely being directed at the other. Uh, but it's also defensiveness. Okay, so someone who's defensive, someone who has suppressed feelings, who's not willing to open up, may cause a bit of obstacles here in the relationship. But look at that Seven of Wands. He's on his own. So it could be, you know, it, it, it's a bit of a contrast here, actually, because in one sense, I feel like one of you might want independence, but then the other might feel like they might want independence but then when they get when they once they get that space from you or you get that space from them you'll change your mind and you'll have to fight for something here uh, but this could be arguments fighting you know the ones can represent uh, debate it can represent when we're very zealous when we're very passionate about something uh, we can become argumentative we can be closed off we can become defensive so this might be one of the areas in which you could face complications with this person or in your connection together now, you also have the uh, the magician here. Magician is Aries. It can be stubborn energy because it's fire. And this person has it twice. So they're twice the magician. If we're reading it in a context of challenge, the magician is often seen as a trickster, mischievous, plays games, tries to alter the way we see things, tries, tries to manipulate or change things um, for entertainment or to suit his own needs rather than the other person's. So things at one point or, no, or another in this relationship could be a little bit one-sided. There could also be manipulation, okay? Um, the magician has everything on the table. So this person might, or you might, um, put everything out on the table, but it's almost like there's a side to them that they're not going to show or reveal or open up about. Um, it could be you, Leo, it could be them, but I feel like that could be an obstacle for you. The magician also, changes his mind very quickly because he can make things happen very quickly um, can also make things disappear very quickly so this is a bit of um contradiction here or hypocrisy okay um it could go against the grain here for the both of you or for one of you nonetheless the magician in this context can represent challenges because he is not um free-flowing he changes things, he changes his mind, he changes his tricks, he changes his tactics. So I don't think this has more anything to do with emotion. I think it's more to do with how someone is thinking or what their goal is. And it's not to say that um, in this relationship, the obstacle here is that everyone will have ulterior motives. That's not what I'm saying, but I am saying that manipulation or someone might want to change you or um, you know, you might want to be changing them. And maybe that's where that defensiveness will grow. So that's something that you might need to keep an eye out on, Leo, um, when the two of you do, in fact, come together for a connection or a relationship here. Um, and maybe that's when you'll need to take time or space away from each other to figure out, to piece all the, you know, to stack up all the um, cups together once more and have everything make sense and free-flowing. Okay, so sometimes there's a missing link here um, that you will encounter or this person will encounter and maybe space... Um, soul searching time apart um, will do you justice i will leave it at that though leo i hope this reading has been helpful for you I really do appreciate you popping over to my vimeo platform to explore this reading um, don't forget if you would like an extended uh sorry if you would like a private reading with me they are discounted for the month of september um, otherwise i hope you have a fabulous october and i do hope to connect very very soon so take care and bye for now